Shalom, shalom, family. Awa here. Welcome to another Sabbath edition of Our Journey Towards Eden. Israel, uh, me and my family, uh, my husband, uh, and our daughter is um, on a journey, and uh, we are sharing our experiences uh, in relocating to the motherland. Uh, however, on our uh, Sabbaths, uh, which is on our Saturdays, our Sabbaths is our day of rest, and we don't do any work, so. I um, just wanted to start coming to you with a little Sabbath edition to share a little spirituality with you. So um, every Saturday, if, if I'm not inspired, I don't come to you. But if I'm inspired, I come to you. And um, you know, the last couple of videos was about leaving the world behind. And um, as I was thinking about my last videos uh, my Sabbath videos I thought about a time it was actually 2018 when uh, the Most High this was my first experience experiencing this but I started uh, waking up at um, 3 o'clock every morning or every a.m. and um, it was, it, I believe it started in 2018, <coughs> and it would always be 3 o'clock in the a.m. And there was a particular scripture that uh, the Most High would have me frequent quite a bit. He, when I would wake up, it was like, read this, read this, this uh, chapter. And I would do it in obedience, and I really didn't understand what it meant because I wasn't thinking about Africa um, you know, really, most black Americans, we didn't really identify with Africans because we, a lot of us didn't know we were Africans, you know, or had any African DNA. I know we have indigenous blood also, but, well, people don't understand that Africans were indigenous to that land as well, uh, even before the natives, but what they call the natives. But anyway... As I had no idea uh, about Africa, going back to Africa, going, you know, it was not on my radar, you know, I was just living. Um, and some people, uh, you know, flee America or whatever because of uh, maybe um, they had a bad rap in America, but <coughs> it wasn't really the case with me and my husband uh, we we did deal with racism as a black black people but or as African people but we still were able to experience a, a decent measure of you know success but back to um, reading this scripture like I said I didn't have any uh, any inclination um, or anything telling me to go back to Africa. Like I said, it wasn't until I started mingling with African colleagues that I just really started um, saying, you know what, we need to look more into this. And I started getting curious and then I um, was introduced to a YouTube channel, Dr. Moonbi, and that's where it started. Uh, that was the first YouTuber and that I experienced and it was on from that 
um, but uh, I don't have much to say other than I want to read to you the scripture or the chapter that um, the Most High woke me up. It was like clockwork every day for um, probably about a good year uh, at three o'clock in the a.m. <coughs> and um, this is uh, what the Most High would tell me to read. Isaiah, uh, this is the Bantu Scrolls, also known as the Bible. And I'm reading from the King James Version, uh, Isaiah 60. And I'm just going to read it. I'm going to let you interpret it yourself. I do want you to understand that it's talking about a land, a place, okay? And you'll see that as I read. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, a gross darkness, the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes ab around about and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and it be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee the forces of the gentiles shall come unto thee the multitude of camels shall cover thee the dromads and median and ephah all they from sheba shall come they shall bring gold and incense and they shall show forth the praises of the lord all the flocks of kadar shall be gathered together unto thee the rams of naboth shall minister unto thee they shall come up with acceptance on my altar and i will glorify the house of my glory who are these that fly as cloud and as the doves to their windows surely the owls shall wait for me and the ships of tarshish first to bring thy sons from afar their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the lord thy god and the holy one of israel or the brand two because he hath glorified thee and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee for in my wrath i smote thee but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore, thy gates shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. The men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come, bending unto thee, and all that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel or Bantu or Hebrew. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an internal, eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shall suck the breast of kings and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob, Jacobi, Jacobi, Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make the officers peace, 
and thine extractors righteous. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call, call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time this to me it's talking about the uh the land of israel i mean not israel i'm sorry the land of africa which is the house of god it's the place of god it's where all of the riches are it's where his original people are i'm not saying that there weren't any others engrafted so i'm not going to even debate that but the original people were the bantu people those were the people um well, you have two types of people. You have the Nihilatic people and you have the Bantu people. Uh, but they're cousins. But um, we know that uh, if you're reading this, you can uh, figure it out what all of it means. But uh, for it to talk about your sons and daughters will, will come from afar. It even talks about the ships coming uh, and returning them. You know, um, could it be talking about the planes, which are also airships, or will it be uh, actual ships? You know, also it says, in my wrath, I basically punished you, but in, uh, because of favor, I am restoring you. Basically, I'm bringing you back. So um, this was, start I started reading this 3 o'clock a.m., uh, starting in 2018, I had a vlog that I did. It was called uh, Sit Down with God. And uh, I did that. I, I had followers. And I even had a newsletter. And, um, and I would minister for the day. And, uh, and it, 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 was, it was somewhat popular, but I stopped doing it. You know, I stopped doing it. But Isaiah 60 is one of the scriptures uh, that would continuously be um, uh, given to me when I would wake up. So I want you to um, read it, minister to yourself, and also understand that we are not Gentiles. You know, if you're coming from a Christian Christian's perspective, you may see, uh, if you're melanated, you may see yourself as a Gentile, and you are not. You are not a Gentile, okay? Uh, most of us um, that were dispersed uh, throughout uh, the world and those people of which we came for from we are not Gentiles we are those children were others engrafted that's debatable for some but I'm not going to debate that you know that's not my that's not my fight uh, but anyway for the ones who want to do more reading I would suggest that you start with the book of Deuteronomy from the beginning and also the book of Exodus. Read both of those, but also understand Deuteronomy 28 will actually open your eyes to who we are as a people. We're a peaceful people. We are not a peaceful, uh, a people of war. We're at a point now where the Most High will fight our battles. We don't have to fight any, any battles. The Most High, our spiritual guides, they are already, um, uh, in position to fight our battles for us. All we have to do is speak our, posi our positive affirmation, stay in the spirit of the Most High, and continue to move um, in the flow. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this segment of um, Our Journey Towards Eden, our Sabbath edition. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. And uh, please keep it positive. 
this is a positive channel if it's not for you hey that's okay we're, we're cool with that but I do ask that you leave an offering your offering is liking sharing subscribing and watching the ads okay uh, if you do want to join our patreon which our patreon is going to uh, be geared towards uh, us building and so uh, we won't uh, we, once we start uh, getting on the land that will only be shared with our patreon members also I'm getting ready to start a new YouTube channel and some of um, the uh, back in of that YouTube channel which is going to give more detailed information will be given to our patreon members so uh, if you decide that uh, you know you want to be a patreon that will help us continue with our channel and with what we do please consider doing so um, and uh, that would you can give or join at www.patreon.com forward slash our journey towards Eden. Okay, guys, again, like, share, subscribe. Don't come to the, uh, don't come without an offering, some type of offering. It could just be liking, sharing, sub subscribing, and watching the ads. It could be that simple. Thank you so much for just taking the time to sit with me. I don't take it lightly. Okay, guys, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Help us grow our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing.